you watched my previous video, Failure to Load, you see at the ending I had a little bit of a spill. My back was pretty sore and I was kind of getting over a cold. So my buddy was nice enough to let me use his fish house, which was already out on the lake. So all I had to do was go out, unlock the door, and fish. Little tiny perch, right away. I seen them on the camera, um, and I seen them come in. You know, the the thing, the camera it really is a game. This, I believe, is a pike, and I caught him on a tungsten, so I'm being very careful um, so that he doesn't bite me off here. It looks like a pretty decent pike, though. I had him in my hand even. Um, he, he went down back into the hole and then I think I better put this over here. He went back down into the hole and I was able to use the scoop and get him back up. Have him. He, uh, he, he shook real hard and got off my line. Fun, 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 fun though. You know, the, the funnest thing about that right there is I actually watched him on the camera grab it and I set the hook at the same time. I got to say, this underwater camera business is a game changer. I can't believe how much fun that is. Let me get this guy back down there. I'm using Get Bitten Tackle um, plastics and I'll try to show you what it looks like. I don't know how good this will come in, but this is from the top side looking down on uh, my minnow. And you can see he's on a slender spoon, sitting about a foot up. This is with the Aqua View Micro 2. I had it in a hole probably three feet on the other side of me over here, but I couldn't get it to line up right to get the spoon. I could faintly see it in the distance, but I just couldn't get it to stay where I needed it and wanted it to be um, so that I looked at it. Um, the cord, it's brand new so that the, the cord is a little bit stiff and you can see it's kind of coiled still. There's memory in it. So I found it right now it's easier just to have it um, pointing straight down the hole at it. And uh, you know, that way I can see anything coming in and also with it pointing straight down I can just pull it up and pull it down to the other side now this is a great way to check and see if you still have bait or if your bait is still lively I mean if you get uh, if you get bit on short striked or whatever and, and the fish gets away and you're not sure sometimes reeling up can uh, can can cause you to lose that fish and uh, this will be a good way just to drop it down in there and see if your your waxy is still on there or your uh you know your, your minnow is still lively you can see this guy he's not very lively he's just not doing much unless i jig him once i jig him he starts dancing around again but when he's sitting still he just kind of he gets pretty quiet you know seeing that he just kind of I mean, now he's, he's going pretty good, but if you leave it like that, like, you know, a lot of people dead stick. I dead stick all the time, but what I'm seeing now is, is he'll be lively for a while, and then he'll just go still like this. You see what he's doing there? I mean, he's not doing nothing. He's just sitting there. So then, you know, you give him another jig, 
when he starts dancing a little bit again. But uh, I gotta say, I'm really happy with this with this unit. I really do like it a lot. I think this minnow is dead. So I'm actually gonna reel him up. He's not very lively at all. What I'm gonna do is hook him right through the eyeballs and then pinch off you hook them right through the eyeballs and then pinch off you don't want to pinch off right behind the gill because you want some of that that guts to come off so you go back just a little bit use your thumb and pinch off well then you get some of that guts in there and that sense of the guts is really important for these game fish like pike and uh and while i uh I got some new Venom jigs today, so I'm going to go ahead and retie this one with with these, the Tungsten Core Minnows from Venom Floats, and they have, um, this is the 1 16th ounce, and, uh, 30 to 45 minute glow time on this one. I mean, 30 minute glow. If you look down the bottom left hand corner, you'll see the dead stick bowl and it's going to be going down right there. Now, Where this guy got all twisted up in this one. A um, little northern. I was putting line on the other reel and uh, the dead stick went down. You have to be careful with these northerns um, because they have a gill plate on the inside that is really sharp and uh, will cut your hands especially the bigger ones so you have to be careful that you have to be sure that you grab outside of their gill plate now so what I do with the littler ones is I put my fingers on both sides like that and then squeeze in on their belly and then their their mouth will open right up don't fight it
So, we got a little pike. Go ahead and get this guy back in the water. And he just rifled away. Okay, now. So I have Venom's Lure. That's the, the Venom Core Minnow with Get Bitten Tackle. And uh, I'll show you guys what I'm talking about with this stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and shut this for a second. So it gets nice and dark in here. And this is the core. This is the Venom Night Bright. Venom from Venom, Venom Floats flashlight. And uh, look at that. I mean, look at that. I don't think there's a fish in the world that could resist that. Uh, let me just take that thing outside. It really goes to show you guys um, how how much different it can be. Um, you know, these holes are probably five feet apart, but I'm showing nothing on the camera over here, but there's there's something marking over here. Now, the AquaView has an internal battery, and it says eight-hour lifetime. Um, I charged it up fully before I came, and, uh, and, and it also has a USB cord that came with it, and I got this bag, which has a shoulder strap and a waist strap, and then it sits close to your chest so you can walk with it, great for hole hopping. Or finding a place that you want to set up and then this came with it so the bag and this came with it is a rebate offer from the time that I ordered they had a rebate but this comes with it regardless and the power box that I made last weekend I can plug this into the USB or I can use a cigarette lighter at this point in the night I went outside to grab a soda and I realized it was snowing and it was coming down hard so I hurried up and packed everything up and tried to get off the lake as soon as I could. I don't know if the camera's gonna show this, but my tracks from coming in are almost covered. Uh, I did happen to find these tracks, but they're almost covered. Uh, I drove the Navionics on my phone, so I would have been able to uh, get back on to landing with that but uh, in fact I can see the landing now so I feel a lot safer but uh, it's it's uh, snowing pretty good my tracks are almost covered up and uh, I figured it was probably best just to get off the lake now while I still could I, uh, I was pretty nervous. It was hard to see. It got a little bit easier as it got darker. But uh, the snow was coming down and blowing that the visibility was way down. So I was getting a little bit nervous. Uh, hopefully I'll get home and review this footage. Hopefully I got some footage of some fish. Uh, we'll see what happens. 